is awesome. Hey guys, I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and I want to show you the latest awesome Ford Chinook that got our Baja Grocery Gator. Let's check this thing out. I have to say, I really like this thing. I really like how it drives. Um, I mean, I'm always impressed kind of with how these things do. And sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant going, man, how are we gonna do this? Is it gonna ride nice? And then when it's finished, it's just awesome. So you guys know the Baja Grocery Gator Kit. And if you don't know what the Baja Grocery Gator Kit is, let's go take a look at it up here up front. So. What we did on this kit is something a little bit different. We don't do it all the time, but since this is an RV and for what this customer is gonna be using this for, we put 2008 I-beams. You can tell by the front end of this that this is the older style van. But what we did is we put 2008 and newer I-beams on it. That way we could run the 2008 and newer sway bar mounts for this. So super awesome super stoked on it and look at this as we're filming this right now the owner this is jeff we're gonna just i mean let's go meet him i mean perfect timing How's it going? You must be jeremy. so this is jeff this is the proud owner of the chinook showing up seeing it for the first time awesome. what do you think Freaking fantastic see we don't get to we don't usually get to see this all the time but yeah. It's like first hand, this is Ubering it in right now. So as we get back into this thing, we want to take a peek under there, show you what we've done um, as far as with the beams go, with the sway bar goes, and then also show you how we've added the steering stabilizer on this. Um, on this particular one, we also did an awesome set of powder coated I-beams. So we added a lot of custom things to this to kind of just give it a little bit of like pizzazz, make it super sweet. Um, but let's take a look underneath there and check this out. So as you can see, we've done our Fox steering stabilizer on there. Um, you're seeing that, that we're doing that on a lot of the Baja Grocery Getter kits. It makes a huge difference, especially on these older bands. You can see that um, we have our beams on there. And then this is what we're talking about. So this has the new style sway bar. This has our sway bar drop brackets. And what's nice about the 2008 sway bar is that it actually has the links instead of the bar going into the beam. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow the beam to move through its travel of arc more freely without it binding up. So definitely a, a big plus. If you're gonna run a sway bar, um, this is the best way to do it. Um, what we've done right here on this setup and especially for the older year bands. If you have a newer year, yeah, you can do it. Uh, but typically on any van, we're not usually running them. This particular vehicle is around 10,000 pounds. That's why we decided to do it on this one here. Let's go take a look at the awesome leaf springs we did in the rear. As we come down here, we go to poke our head in here. We can't help but miss these awesome BFG KO2 tires. This tire is gonna be a 235-85-16. So we're keeping it really narrow, but it's still gonna give us the height that we want. And then we're running the dually in the rear, so it's still got plenty of room between the two tires. We're not gonna have issues with it rubbing on that. But if you look in here, you can see that this giant leaf spring pack in here that we're running in order to support the back of the vehicle to give it the lift that it needs, but the ride is fantastic. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take this for a ride. We're gonna show the whole family how awesome this thing rides and go have some fun. All right, so you saw as we were talking about this awesome new Chinook, we had the owner, Jeff, show up at the same time getting dropped off with an Uber and Jennifer over here who's not really excited about being on camera. 
But I think we also got your thumbs up on it, Jennifer. Ah, uh, see, two thumbs up. So she's definitely digging the new look of the Chinook. So, Jeff, what do you think of it? Oh, I'm ecstatic. Like, we, we got this rig and the first thing we did was like head off down a big dusty washboarded road and we didn't make it more than three quarters of a mile before our teeth rattled out and the whole thing felt like it was going to come apart. So we're not your typical RV user. We, we're mountain bikers and skiers and adventurers and so we're every trip we go on we're on dirt roads at some point and a lot of times for extended chunks of it. And so and that's what we want to do with it and so this will hopefully and give us that you know, that softer ride, the ability to handle just a little bit more undulating terrain and get into that campsite that we need to um, without worrying about the back end, which there's nothing we can do about it. We love the inside, but it is but it is out there and it was low. So this, this lift is uh, kind of going to set us free in a sense. And that's what's great about this is washboard roads. This thing is going to love them. And the faster you go, just the smoother it gets, which is awesome. So now it's all just a matter of how heavy that right foot gets onto Jeff. So we're gonna take this thing for a ride, but before we do, we wanna go check out the inside and just see how awesome this Chinook is. So if you have a Chinook or are thinking about building your Chinook, here's some ideas. Here's one of the floor plans with the rear door. I know some of you guys like the side door. But let's go check out this rear door Chinook and check out the inside. Then inside, you know, it's all your basic amenities, you know, a kitchenette, uh, shower and bathroom there um, with a little built-in sink. Chinooks are kind of like, they were, they were fiberglass masters, so it's a mono shell and they do their own showers too. So that was one of their kind of their standpoints before they went out of business in 06. Um, usual fridge, microwave, which may not make the cut eventually as we get further into our remodel. Um, and then into the space, the sofa jackknifes, dinette flattens out, this table just like kind of flips down and you end up with a, essentially a king size bed here in the middle. Um, we have an 11 year old son, so right now he's squeezing in with us, but he's eventually getting kicked to the curb. Um, this is in remodel. There was a VCR here and a nice nine inch that weighed about 50 pounds, so that's gone. Um, converted this with an inverter and a new uh, DVD, so we've got a, basically a new kind of up, upgraded uh, infotainment system. So now, Jeff, you come all the way from Utah and had his Chinook shipped to us and then obviously you see he came out here to pick it up So we just wanted to ask you like what made you how did you find us? First of all, how did you find well tech designs and then what made you go with us over? Somebody else, you know that does you know suspension lifts for Vans. Yeah, so we uh, you know really it was kind of like internet searching web forums, you know the overland um, the Overland, what is it, the Overland Journal and the Associated Forum um, got into the blogs and have been looking at van builds and, you know, kind of adventure vehicle modifications for a couple years now. We picked this up just a year ago, September, um, and so we, we rallied it, but we instantly were kind of putting it to the max, so um, kind of found Weltech as the perfect, you know, he'd done some Chinooks and what I liked about the kit that we did was the fact that it included the full, it was a rear and front, so springs in the front, which I wanted, um, as well as, you know, getting the leaf and leveling it out um, in the back um, and Fox shocks on all four corners. So, you know, really for us, we're looking, yeah, I think the, the total package of the ride, um, and you know with the lift and getting this uh you know getting all of the the plumbing and whatnot that's in the back up off the ground a little bit was just it's just going to increase our ability to access where we need to go all right so usually people can tell the difference as we leave the driveway from well tech designs usually you can tell right away the definite improvement on how the suspension is so oh, i mean i can already i can totally tell the difference Oh, I think about that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, it requires a cook. <laughs> like we, uh, it just had no compliance, and I'm sure the shocks were pretty much toast. Yeah. That being that I don't know if they were original or not. You know, obviously we were the newer owners. We cut the shocks off. They had to get cut off in order to. Yeah. So um, they were probably the original ones from the factory. You know, it only had 17,000 miles. So what's nice is even in these 
turns, like you'll feel it. Like this is so yeah. with the dip even, but it just how stable, yeah, yeah, I mean. Oh, beautiful. Exceeds my expectations, honestly. I was totally anticipating it would have, you know, obviously quite a bit more rock, but it feels Yeah, like, because it's lifted. Yeah, but it has, it has a dampness to it. No, that's where it's like, I mean. <laughs> so we're getting a little rub. I'll trim your fender in the in the your bumper balance. Oh, that's what that's, that's what that little that, that little hit was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. But that's where you know these things really are. You know, with the kit on there, I mean. You can just feel, I mean, it's, people always worry, like if I lift my van, it's gonna drive worse. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's actually, I mean, we're talking, we're in a 10,000 pound motorhome, And yeah, no, I mean, most people won't even drive their stock van the way that I drive their van. <laughs> no, you can, I mean, literally before, like I would corner slow and it was so stiff, you know, but now it's like you corner, you can feel it start to move, but then it's almost like it pushes back on itself. So this road used to be really fun. It got really horrible with all the rain. Yeah, it, it rained a lot. But even this just, you know, I mean, being a, as oh, bumpy yeah. as this road is though too, you know. Yeah. And for us, like with the back end of the weight, we're not worried about the traction and we're not pushing it into a place, you know, that would, it feels like for most of it, I guess for snow, it actually would be nice to have right. four wheel drive traction. But the reality, I think, with the weight, it, it will track and, and stay on the road fine. Um, and especially with a nice narrow tire like we've got. So even like you'll feel like even in this, you know, like we're talking like washboard type stuff. I mean, normally you wouldn't do that or you would try to avoid it in a vehicle like this. And now it's like, just, just, it just go through it. it <laughs> yeah, no, it's perfect. This is exactly I am tickled pink. Like this is exactly what this thing, thing needs for us. Totally, just like it's amazing how it just like pulled the line. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So now we are gonna make Jennifer a believer. We're gonna make her, put her behind the wheel. She'll get some miles on it, and then we can't wait to hear her opinion on how it drives. <laughs> but what did you think, Jeff? Oh, it's spectacular! It exceeded my expectations for sure. Like it's more solid. I was anticipating, you know, being that it's up and obviously, you know, with a full, a softer system, but this way is definitely tolerable. Um, and yeah, and, and the dampening was, was actually pretty incredible. <laughs> so there you have it. So we know that, you know, I tell you about these things and you know, most of you guys, yes, you take my word for it, that it's going to be awesome. But now you hear it firsthand from somebody that has never drove in, driven it, their first time driving, getting to go for a ride in it, because I'll let them drive it now, but I wanted to show them completely what it's capable of doing, so now they're not scared to really have some fun with it. But, you know, thank you so much, Indeed, Jeff. Man. I appreciate, um, you know, appreciate your business, and I hope that you and the whole family have a you know a blast in this new toy so thanks for watching guys and we will see you on the next video